I'm Tony from Bonner's Music and this is my buyer's guide for the brand new Roland HP702 and HP704 digital pianos. So both of these models feature the same technology inside them, so that means they've got the same piano sounds and they have the same recording features, the same Bluetooth features, those kinds of things. However, there are some quite big differences. First one being that the keyboard action on the HP 704 is a different keyboard to that on the 702, and we'll come to that a little bit later in more detail. And also the speaker system on the HP 704 is more powerful and it has more speakers so you get a, a, a much bigger sound with the 704. Even at lower volume you feel that the uh, sound is kind of immersing you when you're playing. So those are the two main differences between the two models. But let's start with some playing and we're going to jump straight in with the uh, classical piano sound. So as you could hear, it's a really beautiful piano sound and it's very expressive um, and it sounds beautiful in, in all registers of the, of the piano keyboard. Um, and I must say that I was really pleasantly surprised when I first sat down and played these pianos. Um, normally when a new lower range or mid range model comes out, it's not so exciting for those of us who work in the business all the time. But I must say that the sound of these instruments really is fantastic. And it must also be said that they both actually sound the same when you're playing through headphones. Um, the speaker systems are different, so when you're playing uh, normally through their speakers, then of course they do sound different. But through headphones, both instruments will sound exactly the same. So Roland have developed a process called supernatural piano modelling to create the piano sound and these piano sounds are a combination of a recording of a real piano and computer generated sound as well and the, the mixture of the two uh, techniques actually gives you a very warm sound when you're playing gently so it's a warm mellow sound and then as you play harder the sound kind of opens up and it becomes much wider. Um, and it's a very natural sounding piano and it behaves in the way that a traditional acoustic piano would. So as well as a really good piano sound, what's very, very important when you're choosing a digital piano is that you get a piano that feels right for your type of playing. Now, if you're a beginner, then you may need some help choosing which is the right instrument for you. And you can do that at a shop like Bonner's because we have all the models from all the manufacturers on display under one roof. We've got two locations, one's in Eastbourne in East Sussex and the other one is in Rygate in Surrey, just off of Junction of the M25 motorway and you're very welcome to come along and you can play all the different pianos from the different manufacturers to make sure you're buying the right piano for your needs.
So, like I said, the first big difference between both models is the actual keyboard itself. The HP 702, which we have sitting here in the rosewood finish, um, that has Roland's PHA4 keyboard action fitted. Now that's a plastic keyboard action. It's fully weighted and it's slightly heavier at the bottom and slightly lighter at the top as you would find with a traditional acoustic piano. But the HP 704 has Roland's PHA50 keyboard action. Now this particular keyboard action is a combination of wood and synthetic materials. So the sides of the key are actually made of wood, but the core of the key itself is actually made of um, a synthetic material. Um, and the combination of the two give the feel of, of a traditional acoustic piano key, but the synthetic materials mean that it's a lot more durable. And in fact, Roland give a 10 year warranty with all of their HP series digital pianos. Um, and I think that just goes to show how confident Roland are in the quality of their workmanship. So the uh, PHA 50 keyboard action, or, which is on the HP 704 here, it just feels a little bit more definite, it's got a little bit more resistance behind it when you compare it with the HP 702. So from a long-term playing ability point of view, the 704 should last you a little bit longer in terms of if you were uh, doing piano grades, for instance, I think that you would be able to get a little bit further using an HP 704 as compared to the HP 702. But then of course there is a price difference between the two as well. Um, but if you're just looking at it from a play playability issue, then the HP 704 certainly to me feels more like a traditional acoustic piano and it does feel very, very nice to play. So as you've heard from the different pieces of music I've been playing, there are actually different piano sounds built into these models, which work for different styles of piano music. So finally, I'm going to choose the bright piano sound, and this is better for more sort of rock and pop type tunes. So now what I'm going to do is just highlight some of the other differences between the two models. So first of all, as you can see, the design of the cabinet of the HP 704 is taller. Now that is to accommodate the extra speakers that are inside, but also it gives it a little bit more presence. And when you're sitting in front of it, you feel more like you're playing a piano than with some of the smaller pianos that are on the market. Um, both instruments have um, what Roland call a classic position lid. So they've got this sliding key cover, but what is nice, because the control panel is in front of you, rather than being on the end, which you get with some other models of digital piano from different manufacturers, but because the panel is here, it means that you can close the lid just to the first position and it hides all of the controls. So to somebody who isn't a musician, perhaps they would look at that and think it's a traditional acoustic piano. And then you can just slide the lid back to reveal the control panel. And that's one of my favorite features, which has been on Roland pianos for many years. And I really hope they don't ever change it because I think it's great. It's, it's better than having the control panel on the far left-hand side there. Another difference between the two models is the music rest. On the HP 702, it's a fixed music rest, whereas on the 704, it has three different positions, so you can change the tilt of the music rest as well. And the 704 also has these metal uh, music holders to stop your pages from uh, flipping over whilst you're playing. So it's time for a little bit more playing now. I'm going to choose a sound from the second category of voices on the HP 704 and this is the e-piano category. And the first sound that you'll see in the screen, it's called 1976 Suitcase. Now this is actually the sound of the Fender Rhodes and it's a beautiful bell-like piano sound. It's equally at home playing ballads as it is playing kind of more funky popular tunes. So um, I'm just gonna play you the intro to uh, two Earth, Wind and Fire tunes actually. And first of all, you'll hear it played in kind of a ballad context and then for the faster tune, a little bit more percussively, but you can see the same sound works for different genres of music.
Let's take a look at the next sound category, which is marked as strings on the panel. Now the first sound that's in this category is called symphonic strings number one. And this is a really nice orchestral string sound, which is really good if you want to maybe play some music from your favorite film. So just take a listen to this. One of my favourite features on digital pianos for many years has been the ability to layer two voices together. So we've heard the acoustic piano sounds, we've also just heard the orchestral string sound. Now what I can do by pressing both buttons together is to layer the two sounds on top of each other. So every key is playing the sound of the piano and the strings together. So let's play the intro to a famous Elton John track using a combination of piano sound and strings layered together. Another very useful feature on digital pianos is a recording facility, which both of these models have. And I like to use this when I'm learning to play a piece of music. So my piano teacher always taught me learn one hand first, then learn the other hand and then put the two together. So the recording feature on these instruments allows you to record your left hand first. So let's do that. It's a one button record. So I literally just press the record button and then start playing. So I'm just going to play my left hand and record it first of all. And now I've recorded the left hand, I can press play and it will play back what I've recorded and I can practice my right hand independently. So as you can see, the record feature is a very useful thing, especially when you're learning a piece of music. And anything you do record on the digital piano, you can store onto a USB memory stick, which you just plug in underneath on the left-hand side here. So the HP 700 series allow you to actually have two voices split across the keyboard. And what I mean by that is that you can have one sound on the left and one sound on the right, just by pressing the split button. So I'm going to choose an acoustic bass sound with a cymbal to play on the left. And in my right hand, I'm going to choose the piano sound. So let's just take a listen to this. It kind of gives you the uh, feel of a, a jazz trio with piano, bass and drums. So Roland were one of the first companies to really embrace wireless Bluetooth technology so that you can connect your instrument directly to your favorite tablet device. Now the HP 700 series are compatible with iOS and Android devices and Roland actually make an app called Piano Every Day which allows you to practice using the songs that are built into the piano but it actually displays the score on your tablet screen and you can practice both hands independently um, it tracks your progress it gives you a score and also it gives you access to 
um, an online sheet music store which you can use the songs that you download from the online sheet music store to actually practice and learn to play the piano. Um, it's a really good app so I'd suggest that if you do buy an HP 700 series you do explore the uh, Bluetooth connectivity because it just makes uh, playing the piano more fun whether you're a beginner or whether you're an experienced pianist. So that brings me to the end of my Roland HP 700 Buyer's Guide. I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching. And if you'd like any more information about digital pianos, then please do get in touch. You'll find our contact details in the description to this movie. There's nothing better than actually trying these instruments out for yourself and also being able to compare them with other instruments from different manufacturers. So please do come along to one of Bonner's stores because we do have the best digital piano stores in the UK and you can be sure that you're making the right decision when you're investing in the next musical instrument for yourself or your family. So like I said, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in another one of my piano demonstration movies.